Tonight, the St. Louis community is mourning the sudden death of a man who devoted his life to mentoring young boys. Dwayne Tolan was one of the co-founders of Boys to Mentors. New tonight, Five Minute Side's Robert Townsend is here with more on the man and his legacy. Kelly and my friends tell me Dwayne D.T. Tolan had a passion for children and teens. Now, he helped many through his mentoring program. Tolan's admirers cannot believe he's now gone. Helping you become a better man, helping you become a better person. Those are just some of the things 14-year-old Jakeem Jones says he's learned during the eight years he's been in the Boys to Mentors program in North St. Louis County. I used to be like social distant from everybody not being able to talk but now I'm able to talk more. Thanks to the mentoring program and especially one man, Dwayne D.T. Tolan. He was a funny guy. A big inspiration? Yeah. Yes. Five years ago, Tolan and two buddies launched Boys to Mentors as their way of giving back to their community. During a 10-week program, they and their team teach boys who range from 6 to 16 a variety of life skills, including how to love themselves, follow their dreams and steer clear of trouble. From cutting grass to hanging doors, the lawn mowers, to painting, to body care. Their motto, save them before we grave them. Before you go to the grave, I'm gonna do my best to save anything, give you all I can to keep you from the streets. It sounds kind of harsh, but it's real. But now the kids, their parents, and Tolan's loved ones are all heartbroken after a real shock. This. It's like unbelievable. No one can believe the 58-year-old Tolan was walking towards his church on Sunday and collapsed in the parking lot. Friends say he battled a blood clot. Blood clot that went from his knee to his heart. He fell forward, hit his head. The beloved mentor, father of five, engaged to be married next month, died at a hospital Wednesday morning. He was born on 623 and he died at 623 in the morning. We lost a pioneer that made great strides to make youth feel loved and belonged and needed. That's DT speaking at an awards program just last month. And we dared them to hope, and we dared them to dream, and we challenged them to achieve. When I start growing up, I'm going to become a mentor. The program will continue. DT Tolan also worked for Annie Malone Children and Family Services. Now its CEO, Keisha Lee, tells us Tolan's mentoring program touched countless lives and its impact was immeasurable.